Pennsylvania. I guess our journey, guys, is Florence Penitentia. You guys ready? I guess. Let's yeah, do it. Yeah, let's, do. let's do it, guys. Yeah, I was wondering about this patch, man. And I just wanted to know, who gave you permission to wear that patch? Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> who, who the hell is Tommy? <laughs> and I, I, I think you want to talk to my president here. Uh, yeah. One man's dream is on the road to fulfillment. His friends call him Baker. He's been riding all of his life. For the past five years, he's been flying these colors, the ice cream men from hell. Over the years, he's given the patch to friends in Arizona, California, and Nevada. The first time they ever rode together as a pack, one of them went down. The first time they ever partied together, things got out of control, and one of the riders, one of the friends, quit the club. With your best song. Whatever. Dumbass. Is he not a dumbass? What's he dumbass? Most are trying to make the club work together, ride like a team, a real MC. They find themselves smack dab in the middle of a biker bar that just happens to be a favorite of the Hells Angels. Oh no. No, that Victor Wiggins sucked in the head. Hey, let's relax. Don't be so tight. You'll be all right. In this situation, most sane people would step back, lay low, be cool. But not Baker. He has an idea. Maybe at some point we should have Moody say hello because you're our boss, Deck. My name, my name is Moody. Really? Moody plus the Hells Angels? Watch what happens. I don't ride with fucking clowns. <laughs> and if you can't follow the rules, guess what? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? How often does that come up where you get a chance to go riding with Hells Angels? I mean, it's cool. All you had to tell him was, here's the exit. Best, we're going to ride wherever we want to ride. We don't have any rules. That's what makes us unique. I'm trying to get you to do something. Now just shut no, no. up. Previously on American MC. Baker and Tom rode from Oakland to hook up with Brian in Los Angeles. Moody and Kevin left from Vegas. The other California crew started in San Diego. The final destination became Skull Valley. So where is Baker? Baker, Tom, and Brian were running fast, but behind schedule. Bud brought his vintage Harley and was the first to break down. Oh, I see blood, that's good. That means we're getting close to something. Oh, I believe. Moody revealed his true colors by not bringing his colors, which prompted oh, oh. Baker to call for a vote. Did he prospect for the trip? <laughs> See, go ahead. Prospect! Skull Valley Cemetery was the place where this pack of wackos finally got all together. Except, of course, for Moody. Can I have your attention? They decide to wait to see if Moody will show. To kill some time, they take a little target practice. That was close. Big Tom changes gears with a poem about the group. The ice cream man has landed. <laughs> and then, for the first time, the group actually rides together. Five minutes into the ride.
I didn't either. You guys finally decided to stop, huh? I, mean, I didn't even see you. Okay. <laughs> Tommy and Moody were no longer with the pack. But normally we'd pull over and make a couple calls and find out where the heck everybody's at and regroup everybody. I gotta get gas before I fucking... Yeah, well, I thought that's what we're doing. I've been on reserve for like 10 miles. <laughs> it was time to, to uh, stop and get gas and, and make the call from there. Hey, Ingram, come on back here a minute. Don't mess with the bike, all right? So I got, now I'm going to California, it says you're 62195. Oh, that's cool, just, I just didn't want you grabbing stuff off the bike. Come on down here. Yeah, you. You're gonna get yourself in trouble. Okay. Get out, let's go. Something? Something it's I gotta called, say, man. Called, this has really been bugging me. When Jason went down, man, you didn't even stop. <laughs> Your face you didn't turn around and go back to him, man. <laughs> he, you knew he hit you. I went and stopped the rest of the people. That's what I wanted to do. I know, man, but if I'm riding and I see a guy go down, I'm going back. You knew he hit your bike. You knew he went down. You said you saw him go down, man. Why don't you stop? Why don't you immediately turn around and go back? I went to stop the rest of the crowd and turn around and go back. Screw the rest of the crowd. Who cares about mm -hmm. that, man? You know the guy goes down. I knew there was other people with him. You said you saw him, Mary. You saw that he hit you. You saw him going down. I watched what? the whole thing happen. I watched him stop. Look In my mirror. He hit your bike. Don't you feel like stop. you should be there for him? At least yes, make I sure did. he's okay? Do we need to go over the cliff? And that's how I went down. Do we Humboldt Justice Court? That's the jurisdiction we're in. Let me get a signature down by a little X there from you. How much is that ticket? If you just pay it by mail and don't show up, 150 bucks. Oh, whoa. All right. There's that back. You don't have any ammo anyway, but throw it back in the holster. There you go. Just leave it and such, and we'll be on our way. Adios. Well, look, man, it's just our dis no, disagreement. But you know what? Well, it's all right, man. We can disagree. It's all right. Exactly. So basically, with Mike, I told him we were good. That means it's an unwritten code. We're done with something. I didn't need Baker to hear any more about this shit. You know, we're done. It's over. Me crashing my bike, I got up and kept going. <laughs> Everybody kept saying I was gonna quit or drop off. I kept going, I didn't even care. So I was ready to keep, go keep it going. Yeah, we get pulled over a lot. You're gonna ride, you're gonna ride fast. That's just part of the game. We end up with tickets here and there. Call, I see where the guys are. Good idea. Well, I guess it's only gonna work if they're stopped. Hey, where is it? Wait, where are you guys? We 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 had to pull over and get some gas. Uh, I think Taylor actually coasted in. Where where are you, where are you at right now? Moody got us pulled over by the cops, but we'll explain that to you when you get here. Anyway, we're at the north off ramp to Montezuma's Castle. We're not too far away, and we'll meet you up there. Oh uh, well, trying to find the sign or whatever. What? Uh... We're going to, we're going back down 
Where are we going? Just get out of my way. It wasn't my fault this morning. Anything with that. Don't blame me. For, don't be <coughs> upset about the ticket, dude. I had nothing to do with it. Well, I, I'm not blaming you, but every time I'm hanging out with you, I end up getting a fucking You're speeding right. ticket. What happened to you? Tickets. No, he just wrote us tickets and let us go. And then he says, I'm carrying a gun. So the cop takes his gun, pulls it out, opens it up. He says, there's no bullets in this gun. How fast did you write you for? 70. 73. No, he wrote it for 70. It was right after we turned off. Right after all you guys turned off, went to that little town. He saw all you guys. So. What's with Montezuma? It's somewhere around here. Well, Montezuma got the revenge, well, got the revenge on Tommy Baker <laughs> yeah. and Mr. Freaking uh, Moody over there. Montezuma's castle. It's somewhere around here. Let's get gas and go there. Montezuma, what are we actually going to do with that gun, Tommy? In Arizona, you have a right to bear arms. I don't want to let the cops down again, so now I'll load up my gun. Breakfast of champions, oh, cupcakes, Red Bull. Hey, Tom, wait, wait. Remember this one? Animal House, see if you can guess what I am now. We know what you are. <laughs> <laughs> That's my oh, sorry. What are you no. going to pour shit all over now? We're going to find Montezuma's castle. Yeah, baby. It's somewhere around here. That's all we know. The way Baker likes to put it, hey, it's the journey, not the destination. You have to plan to go in a direction. You might as well plan to go in a direction that has some sort of attraction. Destinations, man, that's the way I like to roll. Because you can anticipate. If you've been there before, you know what to expect. If you haven't, you, you have that first exposure. It's always great going to a new place, you know? Anything but jail. Well, where are the ladders that go up there? Here's how Montezuma's Castle, ingenious Sinagawa farmers managed it. I want to know where the ropes are. How are we getting up there? Right here, Paul. It says, it says, it says enter here. I hope you're out in time to make it free. <laughs> Look at you bunch of babies standing over there. God, you know. Well, I can see it from here. I don't need to go up there, you know. Shake your head. Okay, let's go. Yeah. We saw it all. I mean, there's no refreshments. Eat zingers. Eat zingers. <laughs> Okay. All right. I'll talk to you later. Love you, bye. That's why he's a prospect. That That's why. Right. Hey, you Ooh. cannot be a leader yet. Is that like when I ran out of the hand runner and I walked down there and he's like gone? There in the, the Alaskan <laughs> yeah. gold run. Exactly. What do you guys see? We flip a coin, figure out which way we're going from here. Heads is north. You call it near. Tails is south. Oh, it's tails south. <laughs> south of the beach. <laughs> south of the beach. <laughs> <laughs> what, do say? what do you guys say? Next uh, we restaurant. Quit interrupting us. Yeah. You're kind of rude. <laughs> Let's roll it. We're going south. That's all we know. That's what we see. Right. We stop it. Okay, Absolutely. Good. That's downhill. That works for me. <laughs> Yeehaw. 
somebody talked about some rocks hitting them or something like, ah, geez, it's a motorcycle, uh, you're outside, it's a road. Um, duck, I don't know what to tell you, wear a hockey mask. I mean, rocks are rocks, but it, uh, memories are priceless. <laughs> I'm not sure these guys understand what becoming a motorcycle club entails, but if they don't tighten it up, I'm not sure they're ever going to get it. Hey, so you guys go on the other side. I'm there, I'm just waiting in line. Why, why always got to tell me what to do? Dirty no good. Arizona, just doing a ride through the state. You yeah, come to our state, you ought to, you know, get a hold of us, you know. We've got to figure out what that is. It's a nice patch, but we're, um, we're not an MC. Hey, bro. You guys, there's Look at those big guys, the big heat over there. This is our president. How you doing, Tommy? How are you? Good. You guys just cruising through? We're just rolling through from three different states. Heading east. We're not sure we're going to try to get up to Sholo by tonight, I guess. It'll be cold up there tonight. Be cold? Good cold? Oh, yeah. Frog. Frolic? Frog. Frog. Sorry, frog. He's asking, are we a club? We're a bunch of guys that ride together. We enjoy riding together. People might look at us as clubs, but clubs have rules, right? Yeah. We don't, we don't have any rules. They kind of float back and forth. We're trying to get a handle on what it might mean to become a club, because we've been riding together long enough. <laughs> what for you guys is, is, the, is the most precedent of being a club? Brotherhood is what's brother. important. Camaraderie. Camaraderie. Good to meet you. Hope we're a club next time we see you. <laughs> Five minutes. Let's go. Hey, I hear motors. The next thing you know that happens is everybody leaves you. When we were all set to leave, Moody just went and took off. You know, and I could tell by the way these guys were sort of looking at each other. Buy them the books, send them to school. They still don't fucking ride right. So it's important when you're a club, come in together, everybody rides out together. Represents unity. Now that you're up there, you can give me a hand. I'll give you a hand. <laughs> right out the side. Look at that view. This is bad as hell, oh, man. I think, I, I, you guys, I think we can see for about 100 miles. Two, three. <laughs> oh, it's okay for them to stop here and shoot guns for I don't know how long, but for me to work on one of the brothers' bikes. That's right. Oh my God. It's all about the guns here. Yeah. We don't have time for that, bud. We are leaving without him if he's not riding his bike. Big, right. And he'd catch up later. But it's about guns now. It's not about having a guy's bike run out of oil. Thank you. We Come on. I say Brad. He's a nine-year-old trapped in a 52-year-old body. I mean, perfect day. 
incredible view. <laughs> Coming down. but every time I'm hanging out with you, I end up getting a fucking speeding ticket. I was flashing my lights and trying to get you to slow down for the last 10 miles. It doesn't bother me, nothing's worse for me. If it's worse for you, that's your problem. It doesn't bother me a bit. I don't feel bad. Yeah, no, you know, because you make you make yourself feel better by fucking with others. I'm not fucking with anybody. I'm telling you, I told you to slow I'm down. Telling you to shut the fuck up. Well, I don't have to shut the fuck up. Brian's citation for the speed, I wrote it civilly instead of criminal. The address for the court is here. You've got till the 19th of next month to take care of it. Need your signature right there on the X, please. Yeah, okay. What do you think I'll do? Write one ticket? And then that's it? Yep. They just do it for the front guy? Yep. Why? Because he had the whole group falling in. Look at the bright side, Brian. It's better you than me. Yeah. yeah sure. you, I can. I was going to warn you, but I didn't want to do 100 miles an hour to come up and catch you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Thanks for taking me to the team. <laughs> it's two tickets in one day. the longest 30 miles I've ever gone. It, 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 it's chilly. 30 miles from the ticket. It seemed like 100. Yeah. Hey, b -b 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 Baker, <laughs> how much further? <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. Look at this guy. Hey, you guys live around here? Yeah. It's a little cold for us. We're kind of wimpy from the warm weather. <laughs> Where's a good place to go that's halfway decent and warm and biker friendly? Black Bull. Black Bull. Right up the road here. How do we get there? What's the way? What's... You want to follow us? Well, if you want to follow us, we'll show you how to get there. We're we gotta get a little way. gas, but that would be awesome. All right. That would well, be we awesome. Just got ours, so we'll, we'll hang for a few. Killer headlight. Your design? Strike bones, baby. That just killed me. That was nice. So it hit. Yeah, so I, I didn't feel until today, so that's what I'm just gonna like. Is it this side or it's what? It's right here. Yeah. It's pretty bad. From the wreck from yesterday? I think so. Yeah, I didn't feel until today. So, so, lucky that. That's it. We gotta get gas yet. We're getting ready to go? Let's go. Come on, Baker! Let's go! Hurry up! Come on! Yeah. 
Did you, from? Did you go too long time? I found it on the wall back there. It said something about the Hells Angels. I was like, wow, that's kind of cool. You guys want to check this out? There's going to be cops everywhere. I think we should go. We're trying to avoid the police. Just as I was showing the guys the poster, and here comes, I hear this noise, and all of a sudden, there's Hells Angels coming in. Oh, no. No, that big good boy gets sucked in the head. Hey, let's relax. This deal that you guys flashed in my face before, a bunch of Jose, so this is their deal. Maybe at some point we should have Moody say hello, because you're our prospect. We'll send you over there and <laughs> tell him we'd like to buy him a drink. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this? Hey, John, will you go with him? Sure. We're going to go buy him a drink. <laughs> Hey guys, this is your deal here, right? My name, my name is Moody. You don't know how these guys are going to act towards you, and I, to tell you the truth, I, I, I left it up to the other guys to go break the ice, man. I didn't want to be the guy to suffer the wrath of saying the wrong thing. Because if something happens, uh, it would not be good. Moody, I'm Moody. How you doing? We're gonna be joining you on this thing. Hey, all right. We're gonna come down for it. All right, you guys ready to make this journey, are you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Well, then basically, what we're gonna do is take a approach to giving you guys a journey. You should probably go through Wide River. Wide River is Wide the River? Apache Reservation. Then you're only miles away going through the Saw River Canyon. Very cool. At that point in time, you're on your way to Florence Penitentiary. And you'll get the opportunity to know, can you stay up and keep up? We're going to find out. <laughs> That's what it'll all be about. <laughs> and he was brave. He opened the door for us to, to come have a real conversation with him. Every time we talk about making rules for stuff, even if it's, you know, staying in formation or riding together, we start arguing. Nobody can agree. Everybody can agree. You have a president, you have a vice president, you have a road captain, you have a sergeant of arms. There's some official rules becoming a motorcycle club, and then there's a lot of unwritten rules that if you're just starting out, you really need to learn. Because once you enter into that world, you're expected to know what these rules are. Don't you have any type of authority and uh, maybe blessing, authorizing MCs at all? No, I don't want to overstep my boundaries in doing that. But yeah, if you want to try getting something together, I go through the AZMG. That's rule number one. Then from there, they have this say. They have their own language. They have their own colloquialisms. They have their own sayings. And there are these lines that you could cross without knowing it. It can be somewhat mysterious. Tell me what happened. Well, I just told him we were going to come do this ride with them and introduce myself. And he was telling us about the state and cool. you know different like rides. A really cool guy, yeah, yeah. And he says, if you can keep up. Hopefully you'll stay up. Yeah, I did. You know what we're talking about, boys? You gotta ride tight with these guys. You gotta ride hard with these guys. They're gonna laugh in your fucking face. So here's the deal, you guys. He asked if we were a club and stuff, and uh, he gave us some suggestions about becoming a club. First thing you gotta do is go to the AZMC and get a charter. If you ride like you've been riding, down the road. Absolutely down the fucking road. Out. He's outside. All of a sudden, the Hell's Angels are bolting out there. They got a problem, and if something's going on, they got to go. In my mind, I'm like, I got to ask myself to find out if there's really a chance of riding with the Hell's Angels tomorrow. Good night. Good night, there, fellas. Awesome meeting you. Thanks for the howdy. I don't know. We'll catch up with you, fellas, in the morning, Les. That's cool. We're running you guys on the trail. Oh, that's all about keeping up. You can stay up. Somewhere, somewhere on the res, 
Yeah, man, I'll be at White River. White River area? Yeah, and we'll be going right down there. We'll look for you all morning. Any Sounds like a plan. Time? Oh, approximately between 8, 8.30 and 9 o'clock in the morning, I'll be coming that way. All right, man. Thank you. Right, Thank you. Hey, looking forward to it. I look forward to it. Hey, to go and talk to these guys than me. So that's what I did. They could have just brushed it off and said, hey, you're on your own. We're going there. We'll see you there. But we actually got an invitation to ride with them, which is very cool that they would even offer because typically you don't get many chances to ride with the Hells Angels. It just doesn't happen. Hey, I feel right at home, baby. Good evening, what do you guys think? It's a, it's a great chance, you know? Sholo Rick said that we can come on this prison run and ride with the Hells Angels. I just want to know what you guys want to do tomorrow. Ride to Florence. We'll meet up with those guys and ride down with them. How often does that come up where you get a chance to go riding with the Hells Angels? I mean, it's going to be cool. I'm looking forward to tomorrow because uh, I hear these gentlemen ride like men. They ride close and they ride fast, and I'm, I'm interested in that kind of ride. They really don't have any trouble with us, and if they did, they would make it known immediately. We told those guys we were Who's in. Who's gonna whip out, all right? We told those guys we were in. But uh, are you okay to ride, or would that be affiliation in your book? Uh -oh. No, I'm fine with that. I just don't want to put any red and white stuff on my person or on my motorcycle. Yeah. That's all right with you. But it's okay to ride with it. It's okay to ride with it. Okay. No, behind a face. Come on, guys. And we're riding yeah, on it. it. Who knows what's going to happen? But... Hey, you guys. Taylor's still working on his bike, but he's not going to cause us to not get it on with the Hells Angels. You sure you guys want to do this ride today? What if we screw up and do something? We, these guys just kick our ass. They don't like riding with us. They were going to get to him like crazy last night. Where's Dave? Where's Dave? Yeah. <laughs> that could happen. <laughs> That's a possibility. I don't Where's think Dave? so. Right Dave was getting to him. bar in northern Arizona was a pretty random interesting thing on the poster about the prison run it says ride with the Hells Angels so our game plan is to roll out a Sholo head south out onto the Apache Indian Reservation and then we're gonna look to hook up with them and rally on south 200 miles to the Florence prison run they said sure you know if you can stay up you can keep up 
So, yeah, that kind of got everybody's like, what do you mean, man? That sounds dangerous. Let's, let's give it a shot. Let's go see if we can ride with them. If I think about us riding with the Hells Angels, the one thing on my mind is we want to let them go first, for one. That's kind of a rule of the road. But I'm worried about them being too tight, because if something happens, it would not be good. You know, these guys ride hard and fast and close. And we're just a bunch of guys that enjoy riding together. We've never ridden hard, fast, and close. I was thinking we might have some accidents. There might be some injuries. These guys may just leave us in the dust. But I, I was willing to, to give it a shot. I, I, I wanted that opportunity to see exactly what a real biker club is like. And uh, these guys are numero uno. They're, they're the number one. So it was just an honor. I don't, I don't know about what you guys think we heard last night, but Sholo Rick said, on the res, White River. So we're now out of White River, so I'm thinking if we're going to see them anywhere, unless we've already missed them, well. we'll, we'll just wait here for a bit. You think they'll stop, or should we be ready to go and just take off after them? Because they no, did say if, if we could keep so up. You think they'll pull in? What do you think? That's I don't think they'll stop for us. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't expect somebody yeah, I said, yeah, you want to ride with me, that'd be... They so stopped through. just told us, hey, we can keep up. He's going to be coming down the road. I don't think he's going to stop. It didn't sound like he's going to stop. If he sees us, get him and go. We'll catch up with him. If we can hang with him, we can catch hang up with him. Stay up. Yeah. yeah. We can stay with him. We can stay with him. If we can't, we can't. We're going to the prison on whether or not they come, right? Right, right, right. We saw the deal. Right. We're going. We're there. If they roll, we, we get to roll with them. Roll. Absolutely. We're going to be riding really, really close and tight. We want to show respect and be in line and stay together. But don't get so close to any of them that you will ever be ever have a chance of rear-ending them, because chances are that'll be the last time you ever rear-end anybody. <laughs> For several okay? different reasons. Oops, it's an accident. <laughs> yeah, there, there are no accidents. Yeah. And chances are all of us are going to be responsible. Hey, Moody, how about coming out over here with us? What happened to your prospect pet? You show up, you agree to come because you're a prospect right. now, right? And then, and then we're all getting ready to go, and, and all of a sudden you're not a prospect so, anymore? So I'll tell you what happened. It was taken off me. <laughs> I walked up and... taken off you? <laughs> I asked Moody the same thing, and uh, one of the angels was sitting right there. He said, uh, we took it off. You're not a motorcycle club, so there is no prospect patch for Moody. So it's gone. And you just said, okay. That's the smart thing to do, actually. <laughs> <laughs> It's like waiting for a girl that you got her phone number last night at the bar and you're gonna see her for lunch the next day if she shows up. They ain't showing up. Hey! Let's go down the road to Fort Apache, man. Let's We've been waiting long enough. Let's go down here and check out Fort Apache. Let's go see. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I think whoa. we should wait here. Man. Yeah, so someone's gotta got wait here. I think we need to wait right. here. I don't think all of us should go there. I mean, yeah, all right, right. I'll wait. All right. Who's gonna stay here? We gotta know I'm who's staying, staying here. Staying. Big talk. I wanna see the car. Oh. I, got it on good I don't need to see some stick okay. work. All right, so you're going to stay here or whatever. I'm some of us got to stay here. That's all. That's fine. Right. Let's go ride. That's fine. Guys, yeah. where are you from? I'm from up by uh, Oakland, San Francisco area. California. Yeah. I've never, never been there. Before. Yeah, I was asking them about fishing. Uh -huh. and, uh, fishing uh, is fishing. good. Ice fishing. Yeah? Ice fishing right now should be good. Why right, would you catch ice fast and uh -huh. hurt? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I, I go, you have to go you know, over mad at me? Because when I go fishing, these people, they ask me, where do you go hunting for whitetail? I told them I go to Walmart. A lot of whitetail walking ah! around. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to shop, but he's shopping otherwise. <laughs> but oh, man. <laughs> All the 
president said was, we'll be running through the res. Well, this is definitely the res, and this has got to be a known spot. Come on, whoever wants to go check it out, let's go. I'm going down there. So two of the guys said, let's get out of here. Let's go see Fort Apache and hit the road. Come on, fire them up. Hey. I'm not going to go anywhere. Go I don't want to miss them. See you later. Yeah. Two of the guys said, we'll stay here. We don't care about Fort Apache. About five or six guys were down with, Russ, keep waiting. Brian was one of them. Baker should know better. You don't break up a pack. It's never a good idea. Of all of us, the guy who knows something about motorcycle clubs, he should have made sure that we all stayed together and waited the way we were supposed to wait. Here's Fort Apache just down the road. I'd kind of like to check that out. You know, it's a historical site. And besides, I don't know what was really said with those guys and, and if they're coming. So why should I miss this opportunity to go see this fort over here? Now, what do you think their, their average speed's going to be going through here? I really don't know. You know they, might, they ride the way they want to ride. Yeah. I was going to stay there if and when they came by at all. No matter what happened, I wanted to be there for that ride with the Angels to the prison. Woo! <laughs> Longest part of the day! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> So this is Fort Apache? Yeah, like I'm wondering where this, where's the fort? Yeah. Like a <laughs> fort, you know, with the logs? I'm thinking of teepees and stuff. Yeah, exactly. I'm looking for big wood stakes that are chopped like uh, Yeah, like a fort. Pigs. Like a yeah. fort yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Too many movies, man. Well, like well, there's, a, there's some pretty old buildings back there. Let's check this out. Let's read about it. We're supposed to lead me Yeah, he said us. We're He told me to be... You're back there. He told me to be right with Brian. Baker and I decided we want to make a good show. We want to blend in with these guys. You know, you and Brian ride well. He says, you guys, you guys be in the middle. You are with him. Somebody's got to push these guys. I'm talking to Paul. Paul, you're going to be doing 90. And Paul said to me, he goes, why would I be doing 90? I go, because Paul, I'm behind you and I'm going to be doing 90. And Paul goes, oh. <laughs> During the 1930s, this building served as the Emergency Conservation Work Warehouse, providing supplies and materials for the Indian Division of the Civilian Conservation Corps. Where's the gift shop? The guys that wanted to go check out Fort Apache, which was really right around the corner, they figured they could go there and come back. You know, it's like Murphy's Law, right? Time to roll, baby. Yeah, baby! You know what? They were coming fast and hard. It didn't look like they were going to stop. We tried calling them to let them know. You know, we saw the Hells Angels rolling down the road. Hello? What? Holy shit. are over. Do you want to ride with the HA or not? The most important thing that's probably going to happen on this entire ride, riding with the Hells Angels and I'm not there. One thing's for sure, I will catch the Hells Angels, I will ride with the Hells Angels, and I'm not worrying about anybody but me right now. I was so stoked to be asked to lead the pack up to the Hells Angels. I love riding fast, I love riding tight, I respect everything they're about. I got caught up in the moment, and in fact, I didn't know where the other guys were, nor did I care. I better ride well is the feeling I have the first time I rode with the Hells Angels. I better do a good job. I hope my brakes work. You better have your shit together. Riding with the Hells Angels kind of taught us something because they rode tight and close. I think as time went on, it got even better, a lot smoother, and we did really good. And we kept it tight like a freight train.
was a good ride, real good ride. Good job, right. brother. So, were you surprised we could keep up? Well, you're still standing up. <laughs> it's just, it's just to be seen, you'd be able to keep up. I felt like we had earned a stripe there, or at least just a little bit of respect in their eyes. Can we respectfully say angels forever? Forever angels? That's basically what those letters stand for. Right? Awesome. Awesome. Well, we've been here for some time. Awesome. Uh oh, so far, uh, these people aren't with us. Uh, 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 some of them could be. Uh, 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 well, uh, anyway, what the I was slackers, saying. The slaggers. Uh, uh, hey, so what happened with you guys? Did you call time? Yeah, well, Jason's bike's cutting out on him. About 80, it just couldn't hold the RPM. And it just keeps dying. <laughs> That fort where you guys was pulled over at, that's where he was sent from there to Holbrook, Arizona. From Holbrook, Arizona, sent to Florida. His return come back to the state of Arizona, as far as he made it, was Oklahoma City. Beyond that, Geronimo never made it home. Huh. Really? Oh, wow. That's the history on Geronimo. <laughs> yeah, we were going pretty much right up there. Yeah, well, I caught you just 95 or 100 most of the way. Me, it's about the machine, and I knew what I was doing to it. But uh, I arrived with that pack of Hells Angels and the rest of the guys, so there you have it. Yeah, I was wondering about this patch, man. And I just wanted to know who gave you permission to wear that patch? Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> who, who the hell is Tommy? Uh, I think you want to talk to my president here. Uh, yeah. He was asking me about the patches that we have on the back of our jackets, the, the embroidered. You bet. Well, what we're wearing, there's an MC underneath that. Yeah, we we don't have that on ours. Well, you we're must not, not be you must not be a motorcycle club, huh? No, we're not. We're just a group of guys that like to ride together. Nope. And, and Turtle, I'm, I'm Tommy. I'm the one that uh, gave him and these guys these vests, but you're right. We've never found out or understood what the formalities are to be a club. Come to the Confederation or talk to the ACMC or anybody, huh? And we're all like, in due respect, I guess we're enamored with, you know, your world and the world of other bike clubs that, that run a patch and, and show that camaraderie. We're a little out of order. I understand that, and uh, you know, just you giving us this insight today gives us a little heads up of get it right. It's not just us. That is a national level for everyone. It doesn't matter if you're purple, green, red, or blue. You can belong to that organization representing a motorcycle club. But that will be up to your adventures within the nature of where you go with this. Well, we'd like to get it right, get it better, but uh, some somewhere in your uh, in your tail smoke. Well, that's probably what we'll see. It's going to be smoke. Like I said <laughs> okay. before, okay. if you can keep up, you'll probably stay up. Can we roll with you guys a little further down towards the prison run? Yet to be seen, but we're getting ready to leave. All righty. All righty. All righty. All righty. You guys ready? Let's do it. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty intense. Yeah. But uh, I think for now, we all know we got to be talking a little bit further, guys, what we do or don't want to do, but. For now, let's keep on the ride. Tommy, Tommy, I don't want to get our asses kicked here. We're no, but they said we can still ride with them, so all right, I They didn't seem going. real happy about me uh, having a bad All right, today. but gonna be all right with that? told us we need to find right. more about our all journey, right. about what we want to be. Confederation. All right. They're leaving now, and all I don't right. want to. No, we want to get our asses kicked. Yeah, exactly. All time. right, let's go. Ford Apache, I don't want to get left again. the first test, but while gassing up for the next run, the Angels raised a question. Uh, I think you want to talk to my president here. Uh, One of them noticed that our patch did not have an MC, and unfortunately for Kurt, he was near Kurt when he really saw that, and it was a tough moment. Tommy, Tommy, I don't want to get our asses kicked here. There's this dude with long gray hair, just looking right in my eyes and it, like he had snake eyes like he was ready to kill me and uh it scared the shit out of me i didn't know what to do they didn't threaten or curse they just said you guys are pretty stupid you know that and there's a lot of motorcycle clubs that live and die for that patch and that it's an mc you might want to go figure that out i don't think too many bikers whether they're in a bike club or not ever envision themselves riding with the Hells Angels. I think 
riding with the Hells Angels, it took us to the next level. These guys are the guys that ride. These are the guys that make it look easy. And it's a feeling like no other because it changes the game. You don't know everything about them. You hear things, but you don't because it's not your business. They're, you're not one of them, but you respect them. Seven sixteenths inch tubing wrench and a nine sixteenth box and open in. Need some tools. Tools. Just uh, come on up here, bud. Need some tools. Look at here, man. Okay, I, have I, need a, I need a tubing wrench. Tubing. Mm -hmm. Closest we got is the vice the vice grips. Not gonna oh, happen. Which side? Oh, I guess we'd have to wait. I turn one way, you know, one way I got break, one way I don't. That's better than nothing. When it comes to these guys, I just soon hang back here. I just want to be invisible, you know. So I, I'm really bound to go up there. It's a, he's a biker, and I am the mechanic in this group. Sorry, we couldn't do something. Yeah, no, man, for what it's worth, you'll be able to have something if you choose to. You can put it on your bike. All right. Thank you. All right, man. Well, I got a plan. Somewhere. He hands Bud a sticker that you can only get from a Hells Angel, and it says Hells Angel supporter. And you can't buy them, and you, you're not gifted at rallies. Only a Hells Angel can give you one of those. <laughs> well, I mean, president of a Hells Angel chapter well, gives you a sticker. I mean, uh, it's sort of a one-off as far as any of us are concerned. I try to watch the guy in front of the guy in front of me. Also, that kind of saves up. When you see him break, that way you got a little bit of lead time with the next guy. Using a big tack. Rescue another brother. Yeah, that's when he was attacked. Yeah. Right. Up the front starts yeah. swelling out. Yeah. That means you're stopping. When you suck in, that means you're going. Big Tom, do you have anything that you can roll for them that has some bike genre to it? Well, I can think of one. Uh, it's on the road and out of town. That's where my freedom can be found. Upon my bike and on the gas. For days and nights, the cars I pass. To think about my views instead, without the news or papers read, and dream about those better times when free and me are more than rhyme. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Sort of like putting pep in your step, talking, you walk right in your stride, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's on two wheels and both are turning. The back one squeals as rubber's burning. Upon this beast, I have no fear. Drive trains increase to second gear. That spinning tire that was behind is now alongside this ass of mine. And if I soon don't throttle down, we'll both be doomed to hit the ground. The gas lets off, this stunts at end. My bike snaps back in line again. And Gary Bang says, that's just fine. But Jesus, Tom, not every time. <laughs> It's kind of a camaraderie, and it really was a special feeling when they did show an acceptance, and just like man to man, not club to non-club. You know, it's a complimentary thing, and, and I really enjoyed that moment. Hey, these guys, you know, they're, they're one percenters. And, you know, and here we are, a bunch of guys out riding. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, you're going to have their edge. You're like, whoa, you know, is this guy, this guy, is he okay, is he okay? They all seem like really nice guys. You just don't want to cross them or have any problems with them. just 
an incredible feeling. It was like it was like a snake slithering down through the canyons, and uh, just listening to the rumble and the roar, and being so close to your your buddy next to you. The energy of the whole team together, the courage and the fearlessness of everybody traveling so fast down that road was just amazing. It created its own power, its own energy, it was just amazing. Adrenaline is coursing at that point. You really need to pay attention to what you're doing as you're riding. You've got a bike in front of you and a bike next to you and you're within feet of each other and sometimes not even feet, sometimes just inches. One wrong move and you're done. This is so awesome. We're like in a training exercise with the Hells Angels. The ultimate test and our guys are riding great. Awesome, I'm loving it. So we're like hauling ass down this whole face of this cliff. My bike's smoking like a freight train. All in all, there's some really good things about what we're doing here. We're flying over this river crossing at the bottom. And roar up the other side of the canyon. Awesome. But after clearing the bridge, uh, there's no one behind me. And I'm like, holy shit, somebody's down. was going about 110 through these windy roads and I could see the guys kind of hesitate and you know what I take responsibility for myself and guess what I pulled over and I stopped you know what? I'm tired of this shit because you know what they're going too fast I don't want to mess with this and that's why I stopped and thank you for coming with me yeah. man because I'm gonna tell you what it was getting too hairy you guys ride pretty crazy I don't, need this. They're on the gas I don't need this flying through those turns you know what? where the fuck yeah. is general big They'll see we're not there and they'll come back, I bet. There's an unwritten rule that whoever's right behind you, you kind of have to keep an eye on so that if somebody falls back or if somebody goes down, we know where they're at so that they can notify the other riders that, hey, there's somebody on the side of the road or somebody went down. Well, you got to really pay attention to what's oh, going I know. on. I know. I was like, yeah, we got, got, people. I've seen a lot what of good-looking fenders. That's hey. all I can <laughs> see. Dude, I just knew I was riding with the Hells Angels, and I was having fun. So before you knew it, I'm looking in my mirrors, and I'm riding with my neck, and I'm not seeing my buddies anymore. And I figured, well, maybe they didn't keep coming. So I turned around and went back. But I, I honestly was caught in the moment. You know, going 100 miles an hour on this curve, like I said, you can have it. I don't need it. General it's, Baker. I'm about being safe, and that's what this is all about, is being safe and being I a crew. I I learned learned that. That. Oh, Here comes the rest of my boys. Oh, 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 the dynamics of this whole thing, we're supposed to be together. Yeah. And you guys are going 100 miles an hour. Man, we told them if they could keep up, they'd be able to stay up. Yeah. Had, a, had a terrible accident. Well, it don't look like no accident. It looks like we're all right there. Whoa. Well, you know, we got uh, too many. Would you just find out that we were we behind? We really have too many different minds that are in control of their world. Instead of thinking about the group, You're it's not great. thinking about the group because we want to be safe. And you want to be a radical? That's not right.
Well, I thought we all agreed this morning we wanted to ride with the Hells Angels. But they break the law. Whatever, Kevin. I guess you write your own rule book. I was having a pretty good time. You know? Well, look at you. Look, I think the guys that hung around with us, what, how many guys? We stuck together. That's great. We so came here. We like are. There's a split in the here there's we a are. Y in the road. We came right, right back. There's a, there's a Y in the no, road. No, you don't right get now. one of those. Uh, well, for what it's worth, we thought we ought to go to Florence here in a little while, guys. That's where our journey is. We'll see if they'll be able to keep up. Dude, you guys, you guys smoke on a cigarette for a moment, and then we'll get approached down to the run. The point is, we stopped at the gas station. We stopped before. When we were fixing the Hells Angels bike, if some of you guys were having a problem and weren't digging it, how about having a discussion then? A bunch of us are still rolling. It is what it is. We came back. You know, guys, it's part of the deal. Having a like mindset. I didn't see any problem, six different Hells Angels, with them riding together and communicating. That's what they're down for. We don't know what we're down for, but maybe that's part of what we can figure out. Point is, as a group of buddies I'll and brothers, that. we came back and we're here, Kevin, and a bunch of us rolled, and here we are. Those guys gonna be bummed we peeled off? We're gonna think we're bummed you peeled they off. They don't care. Yeah. They, they don't care about us. They should have pulled off. They ain't with us. We started we the journey. With them. I mean, Will they give us another chance to ride with them again? Oh, sure, sure, man, they're cool. Do you think we'll ever see them again? Yeah, yeah. No, dude. Well, I guess our journey, guys, is Florence Penitentiary. You guys ready? I guess. Let's yeah, do it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, guys. Just a good week up. Man, we don't know if they can keep up, they did stay up. How, how, how steep tomorrow. is that cliff? Let's go see. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't got <laughs> the cliff but the view is pretty nice this is what i'm talking about this See, is what we're, we're out here for we're we've discovered you. mother nature <laughs> <laughs> that's a great looking river and mother other nature. things let's yeah, go down there we got to get to the prison run that's my kind of run but oh, boy, the yes. ride's over i suppose we could take a time out <laughs> Woo! yeah Yay! they're not waving nothing oh <laughs> let's go let's go Hey, thank God I stopped, guys, huh? Hey, hey you guys go with the Hells Angels. See if we can get down there, bud. Wait, wait, how do we get there? Let's go around the bridge right here. What bridge, this here? Just go down the dirt road and then just take to your left and it'll bring you back around underneath the bridge. And so there's a up. road that runs along the waterfront? Yeah. Let's go check it out. Yeah. I think we've got an invite. All right, let's go. But not too long. It. We got a prison run to go to. Baker, Baker Judge is just too radical for me. He's just getting he's too nuts. stupid. And you he know, wants but, to be, but he can, he can do it. He's capable. You know he what? Look, let me tell you the he's difference. Reckless, you know, I got a, he, a son at home and a wife. That bike. He can ride. I got a son he at home. He almost took me out leaving this morning. <laughs> he doesn't have that, so he doesn't give a shit. Guys, he's though, it's crazy. Cold. Time in the saddle. These guys, everybody, yeah. they he put their ass in the saddle. I've done a lot, a lot of miles, thousands of miles with them too. Yeah. yeah. And how do you the guy can handle How do you put up with them? I just tune them out. You know. It's bad enough a bunch of the guys just gave up and pulled over, ruining our once-in-a-lifetime ride with Hell's Angels. Now, hot chicks are further derailing our game plan. But for sure, I'm not gonna let this pit stop get out of control. I don't know, I think they all wanted to go down to the beach, but uh, you know, I had no back break. Right on dirt, and you use your front brake, you're going down. And I, I, I went down. I saw Petey drop his bike. Uh, lesson hard learned. Petey didn't stop when he saw Jason go down in a lot more serious environment. 
So I thought maybe it's time we just ride past him and see what it feels like. Everybody else kind of rolled past him, I noticed. The only reason I stopped was because I knew I wasn't getting off my bike. I was not at that moment, but I was gonna I was gonna be a little bit of support. After all, I'm on an incline. You're not gonna put your kickstand down without dropping your bike. to be just passing through, hopefully. All right, let's get some pictures if you want. <laughs> you guys, we have officially resumed speed. Yeah! She's hardcore. Riding paint, baby. Woo! I know, right? Start. You've ever been on a bike? Yeah, my dad was a Harley. Hey, we're riding your bike. Yeah. Helping oh, you know, working. Oh, really? Yeah. Support your local red and white Phoenix. Red and white, baby. I love it. Baby. I've got the golden ticket. Oh, my God. Where'd you guys come from? That's a Harley for you. Oh. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Thank you very much. I hope I get it. I hope it was as good for you as it was for me. <laughs> Why did Baker dive in that icy stream? Well, he's Baker. <laughs> and why did Tom dive with him? Because Tom likes Baker's style. And it, it just, it's life, man. It just makes you feel like a million bucks. Okay, let's go uh, bungee jumping now. I hit a rock. <laughs> I jumped in. Yeah, I didn't know it was only two feet deep. My boots are full of water. <laughs> All right, it's on to Florence, huh? I think so. Enough play? I've had enough. Enough play? I can't take any All right. more. I'm ready. Pump let's do this, baby. There you go, baby. Woo! Mike. Yeah. Baker said that uh, he wanted to go. <laughs> I wanted to stay longer because this girl on my bike wants to go for a ride. But Baker really pushed me to leave. That's okay, Tommy. And he made us all leave. He can be a little pushy sometimes. Gotta admit, it was a wet and wild timeout. I loved it. But we did have a purpose. Riding with the Hells Angels, getting to something called the prison run. We're on the road again. That's the objective now. And whether or not the rest of the guys care, I'm going to find this thing called the prison run and hopefully get to ride a little further, a little more with the Hell's Angel. All morning. Oh, anytime you get, anytime you get Tom and Tommy together. Oh. You stupid motherfucker, man. The last time, they were, remember, they were fisticuffs. What? Good. What? Well, as long as you feel good about yelling at me. It doesn't matter. It's old news. I don't care. Well, then what are you over here rubbing my fucking ear for? Well, See, I fucking get it, man. Missing? You're just an idiot. What am I missing? <laughs> You're missing this. OK, what am I missing? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. What the fuck You're story? just going to keep it up, ain't you? What's the problem? Express what the problem is. Come here, man. Intense is the word that someone might use to describe mine and Tommy's communication. Apparently, you stepped out of line again, Baker. I'm getting ready to just fucking split. Baker 
is on a mission, and that's to make me the best person he can make me. He just doesn't know I don't want to be that good. I'm pissed off, I'm telling you. You know what I think it is? Every once in a while, Baker just has to be right. Whatever it is. Are you guys gonna kiss and make up or what? He's a big hearted guy, man. And to watch Baker in his act, I mean, he goes out of his way to make people happy. It makes people happy. And all I end up doing is getting mad at him. But we're working on it. it ain't no big deal, right? Is it I any look, big I deal? <laughs> I love you. <laughs> a few jokes are exchanged and we move on. <laughs> Riding with the Hells Angels, it took us to the next level. We were fender to fender and elbow to elbow, and I, I, I think I could say I was pretty proud of the guys. We were pushing it pretty hard. I don't know about the rest of the guys, but Devil's Canyon rocked. It was insanely dangerous. And I know now that we're within 30 miles or so of the prison run, the day's back on. I'm excited. This is great. Prison Run is an annual event hosted by the Hells Angels. There are various locations set up around the state where you get to ride with us. We will lead packs of bikes to the Prison Run. Five years ago, the city of Florence had made a decision to vote at our 25th anniversary, making an historic event. I remember when it was just the club, and 10 or 15 guests. That's the only people that would show up because, I mean, the law was out there. And if they saw you on a bike anywhere in the vicinity, from Phoenix to Florence, you were getting pulled over. But now it's like huge packs of bikes showing up and, and the cops having to fucking be polite and nice. You know, so even the cops are starting to break loose with it, you know? Make it more of an enjoyable event. It's the 30 year anniversary this year of the prison run. Thousands of people show up for the event every year. There's a public event, it's open to all riders. Started out with a group of guys, a Dirty Dozen Motorcycle Club. They actually used to go there on New Year's Eve. Before they would go to their party, they'd run by the prison and kind of buzz the prison to uh, let some of the guys they knew inside kn knew that they were still uh, people thinking about them, supporting them, and also giving them something to look forward to. You know, this was something we were doing for our brothers, and it was something that was needed. Then I went into prison and I got the, the other side of it. But man, that day that the prison run was on, the whole fucking place was alive, man. It was like, yeah! It was a big day for everybody there. Unfortunately, it's a dead-end road. That's it! Now we turn around and go back! You're done! So, uh, we'll go by the one side, and then we have to do a U-turn and come back around the other way. feet from the fence and you can stand there and watch the bikes and see the bikes going by and I mean 
it was like 10 feet deep of people sitting there watching. I mean, when your brothers show up at that prison run and you're in prison, you wouldn't even leave with prison. Because, I mean, for that day, you're king for a day. Everybody in the prison coming up like wanting to be your pal. It's fucking pretty cool. Well, this is our 30th year anniversary with the prison run this year. It started with a dirty dozen. And then uh, 15 years ago, when we became Hell's Angels, we just continued on with it. We really do appreciate the, the backing of the city and, and the chief of police and their support, because we probably couldn't do it without it. The Hell's Angels put this run on for everybody. It's not just for ourselves. We've had every kind of club you can imagine running this. Uh, we've had independents. We even had a scooter club that rides in this with us. We've been doing it now for 30 years, and uh, it hasn't taken a step backwards even one year. Every year it's bigger and better. Half the town is out there. Uh, they're all in support of it. It's a parade. I mean, they line up like it's a parade. and. They treat it as one. You know, when you have a pack of bikes that's uh, nearly a mile and a half long, it uh, pretty much speaks for itself as far as the support goes. Now it's uh, enjoyable. I liked it better when we were hated and well hated. supporting the Hells Angels, it might, could go bad for me. I've seen guys get drug off and get the shit stomped out of them. Not saying that would happen to whoa, me. Whoa, Maybe whoa. this yeah. much of a but chance. But you've that never happen. seen it happen, and all you guys with your stories, it's not Hells Angels that are dragging I'm people I'm not talking about that. Oh, wait a minute. Listen, we got to hang out with and ride with the Hells Angels. Yes, in all due respect to them, it might be nice if we got orderly and were an MC and had some protocol about us. That's all they said. But that's rules. not how we started. Yeah. But that's, that's maybe where we're, we're going. going. That's, that's not, not where I'm going. going. Maybe this group could become a motorcycle club. Then we have to have a bunch of rules, and we have to elect you president. No, we don't. I don't want to be president, <laughs> and, 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 and it's not about that, but it's about... You have to be president. You're the only one I, talking. I, for <laughs> one, will tell you... How can anybody else talk? Absolutely. He's I would like to talking. see this group of guys 
become an MC. What I think we are is unique. And I think being able to tell these guys, kiss our ass. We're not going to put MC on our vest. We're going to ride wherever we want to ride. We don't have any rules. I think that's what makes us unique. When you ride with a bunch of guys and you call riding tight, fast, and cool rules, and we all agree, it's just the way it is. They're no longer rules. You've been going too fast sometimes, and guess what? It's That's, about safety uh, and about professionalism. And if you can't follow the fucking rules, guess what? What rules? You shouldn't be on the fucking road. Well, That's why they'll revoke your fucking driver's license. It's a privilege. My driver's license is in good standing. I rode for three I don't know, years with no fucking driver's <laughs> license at all. <laughs> to Sturgis and back and loved every motherfucking minute of it. Maybe we can have a better understanding of what taking care of each other looks driver. like. Hey, hey and if we're taking care of each other, what that really looks like. Right on. I take care of you and going fast. Take care of some people whose skills level is not quite as good. Take care of them too. Come to like a balance level. I'm doing 110%. Every time he yells at me, I just go, I time. have to laugh because I'm trying so hard to please him. <laughs> We're trying so fucking hard. Now let's go to another page. Let's 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 go to our prospect. People are just more comfortable. We've ridden together. We've all ridden yeah. together for quite some time. All of us. All right. And up until just a couple days ago, we haven't ridden in formation like that. It's, it's a little more, it's a little more formation right next to each other, it's fender to tighter. fender. It's definitely way tight. If anybody like has ever snow skied or, or done other things, when you start, you're a little bit apprehensive. But when you play or 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 ski with people that are above your level, you get better faster. When I crashed on Thursday and went rolling down the cliff a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's made me a lot better. I know exactly how to break better. I've, I've learned a lot just since Thursday. Every wreck I've ever been in, I've learned. <laughs> I think that just being with these the last few days, quite honestly, I feel like my skills have gotten a little bit sharper. I see them. I agree with you. How do you see them? Your rearview mirror? What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> the toughest part for me is I got two kids, and I know I have to provide for them. And I can tell you that when you've got people depending on you, whether it's a spouse, whether it's a girlfriend, whether it's your job, whether it's your kids, I'll tell you right now, it makes you think twice. But for, whatever it's, for whatever it's worth, my psyche, I'd love to die on the motorcycle. And I'd like you guys to have a good time at my funeral. And there's no one, and there's no one, there's no one that I am responsible to. And that's a shitty life, but it's a great life. Well, look, I was in Trump. Can you go to your funeral and you do get buried? Can we ride over it? <laughs> and as Dave said, why not have a little bit of if it is regiment rather than rules, or if it is protocol rather than style, why not? So we know what we're counting on from each other and, and what, you know what I mean? What we sacrifice for that is that's what makes us different. You don't know that because we haven't tried to be an MC and still be fun loving. I don't know if I want to be in a club where I got to deal with him. Whatever we are personality wise, smart, dumb, different, or goofy, we can all ride. Okay. We can all hook it up. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 I'll take goofy. And, and that, bud. Yeah, is the respect that we can get from any HA club or anybody else. Because guess what? There are six Hells Angels that can speak to our regard. Well, those guys, well, they fucking hook it up. They rode with us for 75 miles down into Salt River Canyon. That's cool. I'd like to be known for that. And yeah, yeah, and yeah we're not tough guys. We're goofy guys. We're having yeah. a good time, guys. Yeah. But that doesn't mean we can't be the good time MC club. What a day. We started out riding with the Hells Angels down through the Apache Indian Reservation, a pit stop with the Wine Tropic Girls at the Salt River Canyon, and then now finishing up with the prison run and thousands of other bikers. Now, we're finally gonna head out and get on to Tombstone, hopefully before sunset. Hey, how far are we going? We're gonna fill it. We got a long way to go. Everyone's filling, I said, fill the bikes. Are you Polish? No. To take three guys to fill a gas tank? I was the only Come one on. there. <laughs> hey, Sergeant Baker. What? what? I'm coming. Um, could you check? Shut up. John is very concerned in your regard. He said, Bud's bike can't hit 70. And I go, well. It was hitting 75 all the way down. Okay, there. okay, okay. I will I'm ride that motorcycle 75 miles an hour. John's concerned for you, and it's nighttime is that we all have the same road-worthy gear, 
and the pan head is pushing it at 75. And in fairness, you were the last one to ride in tonight. If you guys want to go over 75 miles an hour, that's fine. But I will ride at 75 miles an hour. I think that's reasonable. I think that's totally reasonable. I think I you're can't. being unreasonable I can't to ask faster. us to go over 75 miles an hour. Who wants to go over 75 here? I'll choose to ride with you because <laughs> you want to ride 75. Yeah. You're my brother. Okay, good answer. If the speed limit is 75, I'm going to go roughly 10 over. That's, that's cool. And he is too. Who else is cool with roughly 10 over? <laughs> All right, 10 miles over. I think we're going too fast. What? Oh, I'm so concerned about everybody. What the fuck are you talking Who's about? Who's it right? Hey. Guess what? I'm going 80. Kevin, That's it. Kevin. I'm not going to go over 80. Listen, you're losing so your what? mind because no, you, not, you, you guys are a bunch of what I fucking said, sissies about this shit. I got a scenario. scenario. Hey. I'm trying to get group dynamics as the primary point of everything. Stepping but, it up to 85 or 90 to but, pass or but, whatever, but I can't but, run constantly. But like you, that. hang on, we're going to do something that's going to set a precedent right now. Get everybody's attention. We're going to take a vote on something. Because yeah. if you're saying I support Bud and be 15 miles below the speed limit or 10 or get here 20 minutes later every, every 100 miles, then raise your hand now. That's what you want to do. If I don't feel like riding 85 miles an hour, I'm not gonna. Well, then you're breaking down the group dynamics, so you shouldn't be with this group. That might be the case. Okay. You know, that Fine. just might be the case. That might be the case. You know, if 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 I can't ride the speed limiter slightly over, you know, and and if you if you wanna, just like you always do, it's whatever Baker wants. If Baker wants to go 90 miles an hour, everybody else. I was go. with seven guys, it's and I was choice. never in the front. Wait, it's your choice. If you want to go over, and he's forcing you to go over. You're a victim. Guess what? I'm not. I hung with my brother. That's bottom line. Then don't what? ride with us. All right, then. Then don't want to become part of what we're going for. I don't right. like breaking rules. I love my Perfect. I love my friends. Right on. And guess what? Kevin's making no problem with Kevin making a decision. I'm backing him. Steve-O made a decision. Cheers to you. And there you go. And we love Steve-O, and we love you. It's just when we're going to do a road trip, we want to have I call Some group my, dynamics. I call yeah, friends. That's and great. My brothers and I ride. And we'll be your friend. We'll have a sandwich I with ride you. Safe. How many times have you crashed? High Once. speed. Oh, a little bit more than that. Once. Snowmobiles, all this, and guess what? Zero on my part. So guess what? Good. I ride safe. I, keep I love my life. I keep it tight. I we keep it right. We got your answer. That's right. Thank you. Now, Kevin, you don't have to do anything rash. No, 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 that's five bud. times. <laughs> he's he's being a man, bud. Maybe you should think about. You don't like all the shit that's coming down about group dynamics. If this isn't down for you, be like Steve. What is your problem, man? You never know what it's going to be with you, Baker. You know, what? it's always something. These I other know. guys don't feel comfortable, man. You can't be twisting somebody's arm to fucking ride that fast. How bad would you feel if somebody got hurt? Man, it it's reality. dove right into some serious fun with the Hawaiian Tropic Girls. Up it was as good for you as it was for me. <laughs> What's the problem? But the fun didn't last very long. You're missing this. As long as you feel good about yelling at me. Baker's consistent pressure about group dynamics blows Tom's lid. Man, I'm getting ready to just fucking split. But in true biker code, when they were done, it was like nothing ever happened. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Back on the road to the Florence prison run, hosted by the Hells Angels. The event goes exactly as planned. 3,000 bikers pay tribute to their brothers behind bars. I liked it better when you hated me, well hated A roadside powwow leads to some revealing personal feelings. I'd love to die on the motorcycle, and I'd like you guys to have a good time at my funeral. They ride all day and into the night, road weary and exhausted, tempers flare. I think okay. you're being unreasonable. It's whatever Baker wants. In the heat of the moment, Kevin takes a stand. 
Kevin, you don't have to do anything rash. Baker takes Kevin's vest and resumes speed. Did Kevin pull his vest too quickly? Is he really out of the club? I don't need Kevin standing up for me. If that's his decision, he gave his vest back to Baker. Why he did that, I have no idea. Baker would have to take it from me. I had to cool off a little bit because I would have probably punched Baker out after that escapade. I didn't think he was cool. I just wanted to do my own thing. After the longest day so far, with 300 miles down and another 100 to go. Is everybody here? We were riding too fast on the way here. Street. We're riding way too fast on the way here. Really? Yeah. Well, That's what I'm saying. We eventually got to 80. We were more 85 to 90, but why? We were never going 85 or 90. Oh, Ever. 85. Yes, we were. Tommy, you're, 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 you're. Tommy Baker is so set on having this go down the way he wants it. Well, then what we need to do is we need to sit down. We need to not at a gas station, not when we're on a ride. We need to sit down and have a meeting and everybody can sit. And we need to have that meeting minus him. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm serious because minus the minute him. you start talking, That's every time true. I say something, That's you tell true. me to shut the that fuck up. That would be up. a good idea. Either That'd be a good him. idea. He's like, fuck he's like him. do it my way or don't be in my club. Exactly. Yeah. Moody out here? Moody out here? No. And he wants everybody exactly. within a foot of each other. Exactly. It's not going to happen. No, it isn't like going to happen. No it, fucking way. He Some screams guys and yells at us for an hour and a half. We're hungry, we're tired, we want to get to our destination. Will somebody go get Moody? He can't push it. He can't fucking push it like that. Something's got to give. Hey guys, yo, Moody. Yes. Kurt. Yeah. Hey guys means, can I have your attention just for a sec? Kurt's going to ride with me. The rest of you guys can ride with everyone. Well, I'm with Baker. Woo. Wish me luck. Bless me. We're on the last leg to Tombstone, man. I, mean, I don't even know what time of night it was. It's 2 in the morning. We got another 100 miles to go. Buck up and let's get it on. And, and a lot of these guys, that's what we did. You know, once the pack leaves, you got no choice. You either go or you sissy out. So that's the secret, man. You just go. You might be crying on the inside, man, but the tire's smoking on the outside. Well, the cops think everybody that's a biker is an outlaw. Cops are always wanting to have the upper hand on people. They want you to do what they want you to do, and you really can't fight them on it. You can, and then you end up in trouble. on a kick and find machine is to me a great disaster. Biker men know what I mean. I have ridden 30 years, Sportster, Shovel, Evo Pan. All that time spent banging gears, my own life in my own hands. Now here come the fucking rich with their bitches and their bling. How to scratch this biker's itch, they don't know a goddamn thing. 
For their words can ring as hollow as the thoughts from where they came. These nerds I will not follow, yeah. for my heart remains the same. So the time for me had come to take sides and stand my ground. Though respect was there for some, I don't ride with fucking clowns. <laughs> <laughs> These vests are bogus. The ice cream men from hell are no more. The group decides to retire their colors and start from scratch. A new palette, new vests. You ever heard of a member saying, I gotta get my cut? Does anyone have a knife? I do. <laughs> Tom does. So we're gonna have to cut the sleeves off these. Back on the road, the new cut inspires a new beginning. <laughs> Until a 53-foot semi-truck almost wipes out part of the pack. <laughs> Which leads to explosive group dynamics. All you had to tell him was, here's the exit. I didn't He's know out I said right for the sign. Now the final morning of this journey, and Baker wants to get back to business. Hey, you guys. Let's uh, wrap up whatever thoughts that we all want to reflect on about our, our little journey here. Really big order of business other than our continued little virgin quest to see about becoming an MC club. We don't know because we have people from three states. Are we an Arizona-based club? Nevada-based club, a California-based club, but I don't think we really know much. Other than we knew we didn't want to just be fools and run an ice cream man from Hell Patch that was great, but it didn't symbolize anything about us. I hope we do get down to become an MC, and I hope we have members beyond our group, but there'll only be the original 13. The Bakers doesn't. <laughs> anything we do about becoming a motorcycle club will be scrutinized by anybody that is a motorcycle club. Become that a shouldn't member. matter to us, though. It absolutely matters to us because that's the life style, the world that we're talking about moving into. We don't know the protocol. We don't know the heartfelt. We don't know the dedication. We I think what we're all concerned about is what level of motorcycle club that us as a group want to we be. We don't know today. We what think we, know we know today is let's run a new virgin vest. We vests. know the level of club that you want to be. Tell me what you think. I think that you want to be a very structured, very traditional type motorcycle club. We have to go with some of the consciousness that's got, well, 60 years of motorcycle clubs before us. But how important is that? How important it is? If you're going to be a club, it's real important. You had the opportunity to be with the president of a one percenter club. He told you two things. Do you remember what he told you? No. Do you remember what he told you? I remember he told you. What did he say? Well, I don't have to what? I want to hear if you even remember. What did he tell you? What were the two things he told you? About riding with them. Oh, Mike? Mike? Pride in your ride. Pride in your ride. He said something else. Now, if you can keep up, you can stay up. He said, keep it tight like a freight train. Like a freight train. If you train. don't do that, you have no right being a motorcycle club. Forget it. Be a bunch of guys that are riding together. Because if you put an MC on your patch, okay, you're saying I'm like them. And you're not if you're not riding that way. From a long distance away, you see this powerful group of motorcycles. Not all over, not this. Wow. You could tell you, you could tell they were a club just by the formation of how they rode. Want to all and I said is we don't necessarily have to go with all of this outlaw biker protocol. There's nothing outlaw about riding in a pack. That's the what? stupidest thing I've ever Who's heard. Who's the first guy to ride as tight as is you? Then why are you fighting it? I'm Let's not take a vote that. right now. Going forward as a group of guys that want to become a motorcycle club. Do we make it an edict or a lifestyle that when we do it, it just is to ride in a pack? I'm not questioning that. Uh, well, then we've got a majority. Go ahead, John. Uh, okay. Sorry. But but a pack. I mean, how, how are you trying to define it's that? Tight. Because you're, when you're when you're saying tight, well, a car you know, can't pull it let him let him exactly. Answer. And I agree. That, that, that's a good that's, definition. That's is there a certain distance you want to give us a tape measure? And we're going to measure from tire to tire how far we're supposed to be. When your heart beats so hard, it's about ready to jump out. That's how close. That's you your want answer. To be. <laughs> and if you don't get that, then don't go the wrong. And that's why we want to do it. I say let the riding tell what we're about. That's why he's trying to get to this 
freight train, this, this togetherness, this one liquid form going around turns. It's so impressive from wherever you stand or look, that's what we're speaking from. We're speaking from our skill of how we ride and stick together. We might be a chaotic bunch of, you know, uh, Chinese firemen, I don't know, <laughs> when it comes to sitting down and talking, but when it comes to riding, we gotta be that freight train. And that will well, that'll show it to the other MCs that series. Another thing to think about, about motorcycle clubs is there is rivalries. Some don't like each other. And by forming an MC and stepping into that ring, you could have trouble with somebody, literally. So it's really something to think about as well. Are you prepared to deal with something like that? Well, well, got past that. No, no, not necessarily. He makes a very good point. There is safety in numbers on the road, riding, right? For every additional bike you're with, your liability's cut in half. Let's kind of keep that in each of your minds when you wear even this, or as you said, as we move forward, I wouldn't suggest that we are guys that are looking to be tough guys or take on a tough guy situation. So wear your patch when you're with two or three other of our guys not because you're looking for a gang fight, but you're less likely to have somebody come and sort you out. I'm only saying that from a human nature guess, but I'm complimenting what you're saying. I, I, got, I got one last thing that we had an awesome opportunity to ride with, hang out with a one percenter club. But we don't have the personality or the commitment away from our lives, because to me, what I've seen in one percenter clubs, these are people that are willing to take their entire life and dedicate it to that club. They'll live and die <laughs> by that mark. Okay, and none of us are willing to do that. We want to have a club, and there's plenty of clubs that aren't one percenters. I don't buy into that one percenter thing as being bad guys, just fully 100% committed guys to that club. It's a religion. Okay. That being said, we had an awesome opportunity to ride with, hang out with a one percenter club. I think they were just happy that we were keeping up. Yeah. I think they were proud, of, we had some pride in our ride, and I think they appreciate it, they respected exactly it. exactly what they were doing. I'm in support of Red and White because they started it all. I'm in support of Red and White because those guys are the most committed human beings that I've ever met to each other. So I'm only suggesting that you be open-minded when we say this group runs a red and white support patch. And if we have to explain to somebody why, maybe what I just said, because they're a group of guys that are real, they're solid with each other, they've committed their entire lives to each other, and they never back down from that. This one here? That's it. Think about it. We'll talk about it when we get back together. We'll vote on it, and if it's a majority, you must wear one if you're gonna be in this club or this group of guys wanting to be a club because there's plenty of people that wear vests that have nothing to do with a club because maybe they dream and wish that they had a group of guys that were as committed as those red and white members do. I'll second it. Tommy Baker's biggest goal right now is to just start a motorcycle club, a real MC. Whether it's possible with what we got or whatever, we're trying to find out. There are rules, there's a federation in each state for an MC club. Sorry, the club go through the ACMC? That's rule number one. He's got to get over the hurdles of making sure that the club he does start adheres to these rules. And if they don't, it's gonna be a joke. So why even try? And, and Baker wants to do it right. When you ride with a bunch of guys and you call riding tight, fast, and cool rules, and we all agree, it's just the way it is. They're no longer rules. If anything, I learned a lot about what it means to be a motorcycle club from some people that are 100% committed to it and I have a better and more clear idea of 
what that commitment would look like. Coming into this thing, not knowing who these guys were or where we were going to go or what we were going to end up doing, I'll tell you, it was surprising. Not all of them made it. Some guys dropped out. If Baker gets these 13 guys together again, I'm there. We've now joined together to possibly form a motorcycle club. We've all got the same color vest. We'll tag them together and then run as a club. There still could be fallout. It may not all go down to where we all end up on the same path. Some may drop, some may not. These guys came together pretty good as a group, you know, under <clears throat> Colonel Baker. Well, you know, I have my own opinions about what a real MC is. The club world is a serious world. There are the, the old school clubs, you sign up with them, and it's like even joining the army. But, you know, I'm not buying into that kind of deal. Now that they've been exposed to the riding tight, handlebar to handlebar, knee to knee, I don't think they, any of them want to leave. Absolutely. He's I would like to see this group of guys become an MC. He doesn't look out for Tommy Baker. That's why his actions look so chaotic. He looks out for everybody. Tommy has a perception of how people are gonna get together and have a good time. Yeah, brother, what do we do? We resume speed. Yeah. Yeah. It's a new adventure around every corner. Black goes, let's ride!